What do we do with cheap plastics once we're done with them? Well, for a long time, China has been our solution. They've offered the United States a convenient answer to this inconvenient question. But the truth is, most of the single-use plastics that we use on a daily basis are so high in impurities that they really aren't worth much in the sake of recycling. Now, while China was still taking our useless plastics for a long time, they were just burning that stuff off as fuel. But now that they're emerging as a first world country, they're placing a higher value on the quality of life there, especially when it comes to air pollution. And now, because of this, they're banning such practices and they're not taking our cheap plastics. And so for decades, we've been more or less shipping our pollution problems overseas and allowing it to be someone else's problem. So what can we do now that this pollution is going to be our problem? Well, the first thing that we can do is to start prioritizing waste prevention and reuse. We must vote with our dollars every day on business models that reduce our waste. One such low-hanging fruit is to adopt a reusable shopping bag. Instead of hoarding thousands of plastic baggies in your home, try taking your own cloth bags to the store. This simple act can reduce thousands of plastic bags from entering our ecosystem and you'll end up buying even less plastic waste if you frequent your local farmer's market and buy your produce directly from the farmers and use your own cloth baggies. Recycling waste is our next target. The truth is that many recycling centers tasked with sorting all that paper, plastic, and glass that you deposit will simply throw vast amounts of your plastic waste into the landfill or oceans. I know, terrible. And if you bag up your recyclables, it becomes a problem too at the recycling centers because rather than risk opening the bags and having dog poop land on their recycling sorters, they will just throw those whole bags into the landfill as well. So be sure to properly sort your recyclables and avoid using a trash bag for them, even if it's a blue bag that specifically says it's for recycling. Frustrating, I know. The third thing you can do at home is to start finding new uses for the plastic that you do bring home. For example, you can repurpose or upcycle any plastic containers into flower pots. Just take this yogurt container for an example. It's the perfect size for an aloe vera or ivy plant, and you can use it as is once you poke some holes in the bottom for drainage. Or you can remove all the ink in it with a little acetone. Check out the power of the acetone. You simply scrub the ink off the container with a little of this acetone, and then, again, be sure to poke holes in the bottom of your container for drainage. You can then use the lid underneath the container to collect the excess water. Also, once the ink has been removed, you can leave it blank, or you can redecorate it to give it as a gift to a loved one. So now that our pollution is really becoming our problem, be sure to start being part of the solution today. I'm Jason Winningham, and this has been your Green Tip of the Week.